In this video, I'll show you how to launch your very first blog using Bluehost and WordPress, step by step, even if you've never built a website before. What's going on? My name is Eric Hunsaker, and if blogging has always felt a little too technical or confusing, don't worry. I'll walk you through the entire process from picking up a plan to publishing your first post. No coding, no jargon, just a simple beginner friendly setup. So let's get started. All right, first things first, we need to get your website a home. So think of your blog like a house. The domain is your address, something like mycoolblog.com. And hosting is the land that your house sits on. And Bluehost gives you both of those things. Just click the link down in the description to get started with Bluehost and you'll see a few different plans to choose from. So again, if you click on that link in the description, you can see that at the time of recording, you can get started with their basic plan for as low as $1.99 per month. Now that's when you sign up for a 12 month term. So just keep that in mind. But with this plan, you're able to create 10 websites, you get 10 gigabytes of SSD storage, it supports about 40,000 visits per month, there's AI site creation tools, a 30 day money back guarantee, you get a free domain for the first year, there's a free site migration tool, as well as a ton of other features. And if you want to check out the other plans, again, it'll be there down in the link in the description. Now, once you pick your plan, it'll ask you to choose a domain name. And this is the fun part, think of a name that fits what you want to write about. Maybe your name, maybe your hobby or something catchy. If your first choice is taken, don't worry. Try a slight variation or add a word to it. After you've picked your domain, you'll go through the checkout process. Uncheck all the extra add-ons for now unless something specific catches your eye. They're not necessary to get launched. Now, once you're done, Bluehost will automatically set up your hosting account and send you to your dashboard. So over here, I am logged in to Bluehost. So let's go ahead and get set up. So right here in the dashboard under hosting, I'm going to click on add site. And here we're going to go ahead and install WordPress and click continue. We'll give our site a title and we'll go ahead and call this my first blog and we'll click continue. We'll use a temporary domain for now, but here is where you go ahead and search your domain name. Or if you already have a domain, you can go ahead and type that in there now and we'll go ahead and click continue. So it's going to take a few minutes, but WordPress will just go ahead and be installed in just a couple minutes with nothing else we need to do on our part. All right. So it looks like WordPress has been installed. Let's go ahead and click on edit. WordPress site. All right. And so again, this is where it's asking if you want help from Bluehost with the AI site creator. So right now we'll go ahead and do this. So we'll just go ahead and create our own and boom. Now we are officially here inside the WordPress dashboard. So over here on the left hand side, we have posts, pages, appearance, plugins, settings. This is again, where you're going to do everything as it relates to your website. Step four, writing your first blog post. So so to go ahead and do that, we'll come over here on the left hand side and we'll go to posts and this will open up the post. So here we can go ahead and add a new one. So let's go ahead and over here on the left hand side, we can click on add post and this is going to open up the WordPress post editor. So we'll go ahead and give it a title. We'll call this my first blog post. And this is where you begin writing again. We can go ahead and if we press slash, we can open up these different blocks. So if we wanted to add a heading here, be like, this is crazy. I am now a blogger. I cannot believe it. So over here on the right hand side, again, we have some different menus. So when we're on a block or, you know, something here selected, we have the block over here, then we can go ahead and change things so we can animate it, we can give it different attributes and some other advanced tools. But if we want to go ahead and change settings to the whole post, we click on post here. And here we can set the status to something like scheduled or published. So if we click on published, this will publish it right now. It'll publish it immediately. And we can change things like the slug, which is what happens at the you know, like in your URL. And that is just based on your title here. Here's where you can go ahead and add categories. And you can also add tags as well. And if I'm not mistaken, categories like your readers will be able to see them on your website and be able to filter by them. But tags, I believe are more internal, like just for you and keeping things organized that way. So after you're ready, you can go ahead and click on publish. Again, here you can either schedule it and make it private, make it password protected. You can publish it immediately or you can schedule it, which is nice. And then also tags and categories. They're just suggesting that you add some there. So we'll go ahead and click publish. And there we go. So we'll go ahead and click on view posts. See that in another page. So here we go. This is the website. Our website's named my first blog and our first blog is called my first blog. And as you can see, very basic website. This is our home page. This is the 
blog here. You can see it is extremely basic. So let's go ahead and change that. All right, now let's talk about design. So remember how you maybe picked a theme earlier? Maybe you didn't, but themes control the overall layout and vibe of your blog. But if you don't love it, no worries. You can change it anytime. Just go to appearance, themes, and you'll see a bunch of free options here. Pick one that you like and click activate, and it instantly switches your blog's look. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is under appearance, I'm going to come to themes. After I click add theme, I'm going to look for the Bloxy theme. And here is a theme that I really like. So if we go ahead and preview it, we can see that again, it still looks pretty basic, but just hold on, we'll get you going with a very nice site here in just a second. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on install. And the good thing about Bloxy is that it's very customizable and it's very lightweight. So it's not gonna slow down your website. So we have the Bloxy theme installed. And again, if we go look at our website here, it looks a little different now, but still very basic. So as you can see up here, it said, thanks for installing Bloxy, you rock, install the Bloxy companion. That's what we wanna do here. And we're gonna get what they call a starter site. So it's essentially like a template that just gives you a really good starting point. So now that we have the Bloxy companion installed, we'll come over here to starter sites. And now you're gonna be able to select a starter site that looks really good. So under categories, we'll go to blog. And here we can go ahead and choose from several different options. So let's click on preview and that'll open it up. And this isn't your website, but as soon as you hit import, this is what your website will look like. Now, obviously this isn't my images or my content or anything, but don't worry about that. We're just worried about, you know, creating a good starting point that we can go ahead and edit. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on import. It's going to ask to install this child theme. So we'll go ahead and do that, click next. Now here you can either choose what page builder you want. So Gutenberg is the built-in WordPress page editor. Elementor is a plugin that is a page builder that I prefer over the WordPress one. So I'm gonna select that and click next. And then it's gonna go ahead and install Elementor for me. So I don't have to do that. And go ahead and click next and click install. So this will take just a minute, but this is a really easy way to get a website template and just make your website look so much better with such little effort. And what I like about it is you start with the template and then you just customize the colors, the spacing, the layout, but you have all the tools and the components to make it look really good. All right, so we'll wait for that to finish installing. And in the meantime, we'll move on to step six, installing helpful plugins. So again, plugins are like little apps that add features to your blog and website. There are thousands out there, but to keep it simple, here are three that are worth installing right away. The first one is Yoast SEO. This helps you improve how your posts show up in Google. Then there's Jetpack. This gives you security tools, backups, and some simple analytics. Lastly is WP Forms or WordPress Forms. And this makes it easy to create contact forms so that people can reach you. Okay, so it looks like that site has gone ahead and been imported. So let's go ahead and click on View Site. Now it'll look just like the preview that we had before, but as you can tell, now we're inside of WordPress. Now we can go ahead and edit this. So if we come back to WordPress here, we can come down to something like Pages. And for example, we'll go to the home page. We'll click on Edit with Elementor. I like to open that in a new tab. All right, and now that WordPress has loaded, we are in here and now you can see, we can go ahead and change this. So we could call this again, my first blog and we'll go in here and change everything. Now, if you're not sure how to use Elementor, that's fine. It's pretty easy to use, but we also have tons of other videos on our website going over how to use Elementor. So be sure to check those out. Now you probably want an about me page, maybe a contact page too. And these are super easy to make. Now, one of the beautiful things about creating the starter site that we did is that we have some of those pages built already. We have a contact page here. We have a news page, privacy policy, and some other stuff, but it just gives you a good starting place. So if you wanted to add a new about me page from pages right here, we'll just click on add page, or you could duplicate something like the contact page if you like the way that it looked and it was laid out to keep the theme very consistent. Now, before we start writing a ton of posts, let's quickly adjust a couple things in your WordPress settings. So over here on the left-hand side, we'll go to settings in general, and here's a site title and the tagline. Keep them short and relevant to your blog's topic. Next, we'll head to settings and then permalinks. We wanna change it from plain to post name if it was set on plain. So to do that, again, under settings, we'll go to permalinks. And if it's not already on posts, which it is, we wanna make sure it's there instead of plain. So as you can see, that is much better than this up here. So now that your blog is live, the next step is actually blogging. Try not to overthink your first few posts. Just start writing. Pick a topic that's on your mind, tell a story, share a tip, whatever you feel like. Blogging is one of those things that gets easier the more you do it. You'll find your voice, your style, and what your readers connect with. Try to post regularly, maybe once a week to start. You don't have to publish every day, but consistency builds trust 
trust and keeps people coming back. And remember, not every post has to be perfect. Just hit publish. You can always come back and tweak it later. So there you go. Your blog is live. You've picked a domain name, signed up with Bluehost, installed WordPress, and even written your first post. It's a huge step. All right, that's a wrap. Your blog is live. Now go write something. And if you want to get started with Bluehost, you'll find the link for it down in the description below. This is an affiliate link, which means that we earn a small commission when you use it at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue to create free content just like this. So if you end up using it, we thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss another video. Here on this channel, we make videos on how to create websites, explore different website builders, discuss domain names, and so much more. So be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thanks for watching, and we'll see you here in the next video.